this is good, that's bad. A monk called Ajahn Brahm used to visit prisons where he would give classes to prisoners. And it was found that the prisoners who went to his classes never returned to jail after they were released. So the question is, what did Ajahn Brahm do that genuinely reformed these people, these people who committed hard crimes? This was what he said, I have seen a person who has murdered, but I have not seen a murderer. I have seen people who have stolen, but I have not seen a thief. I have seen people who committed terrible sex offences, but I have not met a sex offender. I saw that a person was more than the crime. All of us are made up of so much more than just one thing. This is a cup. You can use it to eat your noodles. It can be anything you want it to be. Plant flowers out of this. Put soil in it. It's just something to hold stuff. Giving names to things helps us identify them. It helps us communicate easily. But the problem is when we give names to things, it comes with a label. And when we label something, there are certain expectations that come with it. So many solutions to a problem is not to fix it, but to accept it. And soon, we won't even see it as a problem anymore. Because when we accept things, the labels, the benchmarks, the expectations, they all disappear. Taking away what should be and leaving only what is. If we allow allow our minds to be free, we know there's no right or wrong, no should or shouldn't. We know we're not here to fix things or change people. By accepting things, we can influence the people around us and hopefully inspire the behavior that we want to perpetuate, like self-respect, honor, integrity, compassion, kindness, hard work. We're allowing all that to flourish. In this lifetime, it is not up to us to teach people how to be. It is up to us to learn as much as we can. Once we understand this, everything becomes clearer and so much easier. So let's try to unlabel everything that's been labeled and free ourselves to be truly accepting of every situation and every single person that we come across. Remember, be happy always.